This next news story comes to us from Rock Paper Shotgun, written by Graham Smith. Shinji Mikami thought Tango Gameworks would be safe from closure if they made Hi-Fi Rush games. So that doesn't like oh, breaking. Oh, that hurts. That hurts yeah, to hear. Right. Oh. This isn't like <laughs> crazy, crazy breaking news or anything like that. But it's kind of like, oh, is it interesting to hear from Shinji Mikami who was there up until just recently, like before the shutdown, he left, right? It was pretty like he didn't leave. Or when did he leave? He left a while was before Was it a while that? ago? Okay. Um, so because he it only was did Evil Within and then was like, all right, I'm out. Oh, okay. So, For some reason, I thought he was there a little longer, but uh, I digress. Shinji Mikami, the founder of Tango Gameworks. Oh, okay. So that's that's what I was thinking of. He, he was the founder, so he wasn't necessarily mm-hmm. a long time, but I mean, he obviously would have, you know, uh, blood, sweat, and tears in there founding it. Uh, thought the studio would be safe as long as they continue to make Hi-Fi Rush games. Mikami was asked about the studio's closure by Microsoft earlier this year and its revival under new owners Crafton uh, at Gamescom last month. I thought the studio would be safe as long as they continue to make Hi-Fi Rush games. That's one of the reasons I left Tango Gameworks, so I was surprised when the studio was closed down, Mikami told IGN. Now Crafton has taken over the business, so I feel like it worked out well in the end. I was reminded that if you make a good game, someone will pick it up. The hard work of the Hi-Fi Rush development team led to a new chapter for the company, and I think that for a development studio, making a good game is more directly related to survival than making a popular game. Mikami was being interviewed alongside fellow desi- designer uh, Goicha Suda, who called Tango Gamework closure a bolt from the blue. Uh, Suda and Mikami worked together on Shadows of the Damned remaster, which is being released later this year. Mikami is best known for his work uh, in the survival horror genre, directing Resident Evil's 1 and 4 at Capcom and the Evil Within series of Tango Gameworks. He's spoken previously about wanting to leave Tango Gameworks long before he did in order to move away from the genre. It makes sense that he'd see the critical success of Hi-Fi Rush, a game which he mentored but did not direct, as the opportunity for him to leave the studio's future secured. Um, Yeah, so I don't know, just need to hear his thoughts on that. Uh, Again, having kind of founded that studio, uh, hear his thoughts on the shutdown and yeah, his general kind of excitement and almost like i love his how he's like hey if you make good games you're going to be able to keep making good games like people someone will pick you up you know oops Uh, but what oops what if you keep making good games somebody will pick you up or continue to pick you up oops xbox didn't think so they did oh yeah yeah no that's true but yeah that that's just goes to show like i mentioned earlier the the PlayStation store. That just goes to show how bad a play or not. No, that was during the, the listener questions. Um, a bad a place Xbox is in right now. That the fact how many that bonehead are, decisions they've been making. Well, well, there was a oh, what was that? I did a, there was an article that came on IGN this past week where apparently they were interviewing uh, Phil Spencer and didn't he say something like I've made a I made a, like a lot of bad decisions this bad like. Uh, yeah, it, it was, and you made some, you made a lot of good ones too. Let's let's you know was, be it was fair. Though it was as interesting though, like to hear him like own up to like, no, I've made a lot of terrible, terrible decisions. <laughs> like mm-hmm. it's like, oh, okay, cool. Because a lot of times, like they, everyone's just like so strict on the PR speak, and they're just like can't talk bad about anything. And for them to be so right. candid was like, I didn't read the entire article, and maybe there's more context to what he was saying. Um, but even just like that headline was kind of like, oh, okay. Uh, whatever the context is, that's interesting to even like contemplate that, you know, in, in, or in, entertain that in an interview, um, no matter the context, you know, the fact that you'd admit in any way that you made a bad decision, you know, because <laughs> right. so much is it's like, no, let's just pretend everything we're doing is great. It's fine. <laughs> you know, smooth it over. Right. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Good to hear. I mean, obviously, I'm encouraged that Tank Gameworks was picked back up. Um, yes. And, uh, thank the Lord. Oh, good i was good. so bummed we were only gonna get hi-fi rush and then call it a day dude man would that would have been a tragedy right there thank you so much for watching that clip from our podcast remember if you want to watch the whole episode the full episode link will be in the description below you can click on that and uh check it out we got listener questions we got more news segments we got uh what you plan we got a lot of fun things so yeah more than just the news there's a little more a, a lot more to the show that you should go check out so remember Click that link in the description. Check out that full episode.